Are you tired of selling books on Amazon and getting little to no sales? Well, then you're in luck because we're continuing our self-publishing books off Amazon series. Today, we're going to focus on publishing on Lulu. So stick around. Hey, Right Riders, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash your little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out a new video. Now I know I've done an upload video for lulu.com before, but recently they've completely updated their site to make things a lot easier for the end user. So I wanted to do a brand new publishing on Lulu tutorial. Now let's get started. Here we are on lulu.com and the first thing you want to do is you want to log in. If you don't already have an account, just click on register. Otherwise you sign in. And here I am signed in. And now that I'm signed in, there's actually a My Projects option. So if you have other projects in there, you can click on that and see how everything's doing. But right now we're going to go to Create and click on Start Your Book. Now, as you can see, there are different types of books that you can do. You can do a print book, a photo book, comic book, magazine, yearbook, or ebook. I'm going to stick with the print book. You want to set your goal. Your goal is it's going to default to print your book. Print your book basically means it's for your own sole purpose. You're not going to try to sell it. Um, publish your book means you're going to try to sell it on Lulu's platform as well as possibly in global distribution. So I'm going to click on publish your book because I want to publish this. And it defaults to selecting both Lulu Bookstore and global distribution. You can easily deselect if you'd like, but I want to keep mine here. Now it's time for the book details. As I've stated in previous videos, I actually have an Excel file where I keep all of my metadata, so it makes it easier when I'm uploading books. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. The language is going to be English. I'm going to set my book category. As it says, it's optional, but obviously I want to make it as discoverable as possible. So I'm going to go to Fiction Children, add my copyright info. There's no subtitle for this, so I'm going to leave that blank. This is the first edition, so I don't have to worry about adding anything there. It's time to add some contributors. The author is going to be me. As you can see, it already has defaults, so that makes it even easier. I can always add more contributors. I can remove contributors if I need to. Now for the copyright section, all rights reserved. Again, this is the default. If you're using Creative Commons or public domain, you would just select a different option. Now, if you want to list the copyright holder and the copyright year, you can do that, but I'm just going to leave them as blank. Moving on to the ISBN, Lulu gives you a free ISBN if you'd like it, or you can select that you have your own. Remember that if you do pick their free ISBN, that Lulu is going to be listed as the publisher. Get my free ISBN, and as you can see on the barcode, it's going to say imprintlulu.com. Make sure that you add this ISBN number into the interior of your book. Also, if you're creating your own book cover, which we'll get to in a, a bit, but if you're creating your own book cover, you need to download this barcode because you're going to have to include that on your cover. Lulu does not add it to already existing book covers. They will add it if you use their cover creator, but if you're uploading your own cover, you need to include the JPEG that comes with this download. That information is right here, but just as a quick reminder. Okay, now it's time to design the book. I can either click on this and browse to my file or I can just drag and drop it. Now, as you can see, it, it was successfully uploaded. It is giving me a little bit of a note. This is a picture book, and so it has very strong high ink coverage. And so they're just suggesting that I select premium print when I get to that section. One thing I love is that they tell you the requirements for your file. So it has to be a PDF. It can be between two and 800 pages. Remember to embed your fonts and remember to flatten any layers. Okay, time to get to the book specifications. Um, another great thing about Lulu is that now that I've uploaded the file, they've auto set the book size, which is an eight and a half by eight and a half square, which is what my book is, as well as the page count. So you don't even have to update that. You're gonna go in here and select your interior. Again, based on what they suggested, I'm gonna go with the color premium. The paper type I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a little bit thicker paper type and coated white. So I'm gonna go with 80 pound. The book binding, you can do coil hardcover, paperback, or saddle stitch. Saddle stitch is really used for like pamphlets and stuff like that, and that's where it's stapled. Coil bound is great for if you're doing uh, journals or cookbooks and that kind of stuff. 
paperback obviously is paperback and I'm going to go with a hardcover. Now I'm going to pick the cover finish. I always go with glossy for my picture books. I find it doesn't take fingerprints as easily as well as it lasts a little bit longer because you know if a kid chews on it or spills something on it, it's easier to wipe it off. Next, it's showing you what the print cost is. And right now it's $13.85, which it sounds like a lot if you're used to KDP, but keep in mind that this is for a hardcover book. This is for a hardcover book with thicker paper. So that's all added into the cost. So $13.85 is actually not too shabby. Time to work on the cover. Again, you can create a cover using their templates and their cover creator. If you use that, then they will put the barcode on the back of the book. But if you upload your own, which is what the default is, then you have to include that barcode from the ISBN page. Now, I strongly suggest that you download a template because your cover is going to be slightly different than the cover that you used for your paperback on, let's say, KDP. Because the dimensions are going to be slightly different because it's a hardcover book. And especially if you go with a thicker paper like I did, then your spine is going to be thicker. So you want to make sure that you keep all that in mind. The great news is that, again, they give you the requirements. It's a PDF file. The page count says one, but it doesn't make sense because obviously it's only going to be one page to cover. But uh, the important part is the dimensions and the spine. Again, it reminds you to embed your fonts and to flatten your layers. But I strongly suggest that you download the template. The template's going to be a PDF file. It'll also show you where to put the barcode because, again, you're creating your own cover, so you need to include that barcode on it. I'm just going to upload my file. Okay, successfully uploaded. Again, it gives me a little note that's just to tell me that they put a white bleed margin around it, which is fine because this particular book is actually not a bleed book. The images don't go all the way to the edge, so it's completely fine. Again, it's just a, a heads up. It still went through successfully. Scroll down here, and here's your preview. This will show you the cover. You just click on your arrows and you can go to the interior. Or if you want, you can actually just use a slider bar and do that. You can skip all the way to the end. I'm going to go back to the cover. Um, there are these elements that you can toggle on and off. Yeah, your margins, that's this. It looks green here because it's a yellow cover, but it's actually blue. I can turn that on and off. Same thing for the wrap. Same thing for the folds. And same thing for the trim. So I'm going to leave all that. Once you're done reviewing it, you can download the print ready PDF file if you'd like. I'm just going to go to add book details. Now these book details are very similar to any other platform. We're going to do a book description, which again, I'm just copying and pasting. Um, here's something that you don't get on every platform and it is a, a spot for you to put contributor notes. So if some of your contributors are, you know, have won awards or anything like that, this is a great place to put it as well as any website, social media profiles, notable achievements, etc. But again, it's optional. So I'm going to leave it blank for now. This is optional as well. You can include your table of contents, depending on the type of book. Again, this is a picture book, so there is no table of contents. Categories and keywords. This is the children's fiction that I set up earlier. I also need to go down here and set up a BISAC. You need to set up at least one BISAC category, which the BISAC category is international, so it's the same for KDP and Barnes and & Noble and Ingram and everybody. One thing I like about the new Lulu site is that you can actually start typing and it'll pull up the different BISACs. So you don't actually have to spend as much time scrolling. So if you know your book is, for example, a juvenile book, I can just type juvenile and it will start pulling all these elements up. Again, it just saves a bit of time. And I try to fill out as many of these, they allow up to three. So I try to do as many as possible, again, just to make it easier for my book to be categorized. Unlike other platforms, you're actually required to have at least one keyword. So for now, I'm just going to put in one and they're comma separated. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go in at later and take the keywords from my paperback on KDP and just copy and paste them in here. Again, make them comma separated. Now it's time to pick the audience. This one is children juvenile. This book contains explicit content. My book does not. Now, if your book does contain explicit content, then after you select this box, you're going to want to hit this drop down and define the type of explicit content that's there. Mine, like I said, is completely fine. Doesn't have any explicit content. Go to add pricing and pays. Now here's a feature that does not exist as far as I've seen on any other platform. And that is the ability to set your price 
normally you just have the fixed list price where you just say I want to charge $19.99 they actually on lulu.com give you an option for this revenue goal which is where you set how much profit you want to make what you want your royalty to be and then they adjust the pricing accordingly so let's say I want to make at least two dollars off every sale so that's US dollars again you could change this if you wanted to now I am going to go in here and modify this slightly just because I want to put it under the dollar so I'm going to put 95 cents on all these by setting the revenue goal at two dollars then I know that I'm going to get two dollars for all my sales at least now you'll see in a second that it's going to change slightly since I just changed some of these prices but um, I don't know why that jumped back but... and now as you can see right here if I make a sale on Lulu's bookstore my revenue my royalties are going to be fifteen dollars and twenty eight cents from the US store so I'm making a good deal of money off each sale now it's the global distribution that is actually going to be more around the two dollar mark uh, as you can see some of these obviously changed slightly they're not exactly two dollars because I adjusted the price but they're still around that two dollar mark and I can go in and like right here and say okay I definitely want two dollars so then I can up my price a bit in order to to make sure that I get two dollars now it's time to select a payee now I already have mine set up if you don't have an existing payee then you just click on add a new payee it's very intuitive it basically it's just going to ask you for all your personal information so that way they know how they can pay you you're going to have to download some tax forms to fill out and upload back in there i'm just going to select myself as the payee you get to set the percent that you want and then you just go for your final review and this is where i just review it okay title looks right make sure you, everything is spelled correctly the book specs uh, yes, it's a square, 30 pages, color premium, that all looks right. Here's your copyright and title information, your book details, and again, you can update these as you go. You can just click revise book details and they'll bring you back there. And you can just update it. Click here to confirm my book details. Okay, moving on to pricing. Does the pricing look right? If not, again, you just revise it. This is for the Lulu Bookstore. This is for the global distribution this is the payee uh, the tax forms are still pending but I'm still able to continue once we hit confirm here on the payees scroll down and it's going to go to the retail options we picked global distribution like I said before um, because we picked global distribution it is required that we actually get a proof so we have to add the proof to our cart then down here at the Lulu bookstore um, it's going to default to private access, which means that it's not going to actually be on sale at the bookstore. It can only be acquired by us. Um, we can change that to direct access, which means only people who use the exact URL that you give them. So, for example, if you want to put a link to that on your website, you can do that. Or you can just make it available to everybody. I'm going to make it available to everybody. Then I just click publish to the Lulu bookstore. So I can't publish globally until I have actually purchased my proof copy but I can publish to Lulu Bookstore right away. And that's it. Okay, now maybe you're not quite ready to upload to Lulu just yet. Perhaps your book cover isn't quite ready. Well then check out this video right here where I show you how to use Canva to create a book cover. Or you can check out this video that YouTube has lined up and picked out just for you. I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right.